And we see the same thing in the Netherlands that uh, due to the investment that we have made in the network in the previous years, the networks have been able to sustain a very significant growth in uh, both uh, voice and data on both uh, fixed and the mobile networks. So it's great to see that when you are prepared for this, you can, you can facilitate that change. Um, it has, of course, fast-tracked already a digitization that we already saw happening in the Netherlands and in the rest of Europe. Um, and I think we have an opportunity for that to sustain in, in a very positive way. And I think you can already tell by the adoption, uh, a lot of consumers, a lot of businesses have fast-tracked their digital transformation plans into weeks or months or sometimes even days um, versus a plan that would normally have taken years to work from home, to develop new applications, uh, to do things more digital. And immediately you see, of course, of course the appreciation uh, from our customers and the market in general, uh, and also the government. It was great to hear also in government circles, uh, even the Prime Minister in the Netherlands publicly stating to be very proud of the infrastructure that we have in the country and the fact that we can keep uh, our customers and our citizens uh, productive, uh, connected, uh, safe. Um, and, and to build on John's last point, it's very important indeed that we do that in an inc inclusive way as well. And I think that's where we still have a step and an obligation to deliver. Going forward, I think very important for us would be for that to be a regulation that is also, um, as I think Manuel and Yoki mentioned, technology agnostic. This is not about fiber or this is not about 5G. This is about different technologies together developing the infrastructure that we actually need. And if the regulation and the whole climate around this is, is positive for investment, continuity, clarity, long-term long -term perspective, then that will continue to attract investments. If you say ideal, I would I would say you, you definitely need infrastructure competition. You definitely need competition at a retail level. So you need enough players per market for this to be, indeed be uh, good for the citizens, for the consumers and for the businesses. And at the same time, you need those fewer players. You need to give them the space to invest. You need them to give them, like I said, that, that clarity around uh, what what is the climate going to be? What is the regulation going to be? That will attract them the funding. So I think what you'll see happening then is that fixed and mobile will continue to converge. Uh, the Netherlands is very converged. Southern European markets are very converged. Belgium is already there. I think that is what the world is going to look like. I think a few years from now, you will see fixed and mobile coming together, an overlay maybe of content, because consumers don't particularly care about technology. And okay, of course, it does start with the foundation, which is gigabit networks across the footprint. That should really be the priority to attract the funds, to allocate the funds for those infrastructures to be provided. And then we can deliver the great services, which I predict would all be converged going forward. And then lastly, where we started talking about, and we don't talk about it enough, is to make sure that we don't create a digital divide. So on the mobile side, however, I'm a bit more concerned, uh, simply because there is more regulatory uncertainty, what we talked about. Um, and, let, and therefore, lack of uh, investment security. To be able to drive to the speeds that 3.5 gigahertz can deliver the real one gig mobile, uh, which is the foundation of all the sort of like future business and consumer development uh, and IoT, is, it needs to be unlocked. And that goes for us, that goes for many other markets. Um, secondly, um, not too dissimilar from some other markets, we see on the mobile side that the Dutch government has chosen to go for a high auction revenue. Uh, model, i.e. distract a lot of money from the industry, um, which then goes uh, into, uh, let's say, the, the, the government fund, but all that money is now no longer available to actually roll out the networks. And I think that is a concern. There are cleverer ways uh, to do that than we do now. I think the availability of, uh, let's say, high capacity, high speed infrastructure is essential. And the most important thing that customers really want is for it simply to work. So the availability, uh, the stability, uh, the continuous performance is everything. We, as we talk about digital transformation and all the beautiful applications, but when the connectivity isn't there or it isn't there in a reliable fashion, then everything else is less relevant or doesn't matter at all. So let's not take that for granted. The fact that we have great infrastructures in Europe uh, and certainly in some markets is not a guarantee that that will be. We still need to continue to create that climate that attracts the investment and allows us to operationalize that, and then we will take care of the rest. We, we love doing this stuff.